Been quite a week, wild week and for the weather. I yeah. will not complain about the weather coming our way. No, the weather coming our way is going to get a little toasty, but that's about it. But you know, the eastern half of the country is under a persistent trough of low pressure, and that's what invites the storms mm -hmm. to move in. And once the storms start clashing with that warm, moist air that comes in from the Gulf of Mexico, that's when we see what we call that clash of seasons and those tornadoes start forming. Boy, what a gorgeous day we have seen across the gem state today. This is from Redfish Lake, and what we're seeing is blue skies and sunshine. Absolutely amazing with temperature readings now starting to warm up into the low 70s. So very dry conditions here across the west. You can see where the storm track is right now. It's stretching from southwestern Canada right into the northern plains. A little shower activity out here moving off the front range of Colorado, but boy, from the north to the south and the east out here to the west, it is just bone dry in the western U.S. So the high today so far 70 degrees. That is the current temperature reading for the day. Now the low last night, nice and cool. We got down to 41 degrees, which was 4 degrees cooler than the average of 40 five degrees, but the record for this date stands at 93 degrees. And I think that it's by Friday we're going to be seeing temperature readings pushing into the upper 80s range. Not quite record levels, but it is still going to be very, very warm. So as you look at this satellite imagery, notice how it is dry here in the western U.S. Notice how the storms continue to favor the eastern half of the country. And every time you get one of these cold fronts that comes in, it generates the lightning and the thunder starts tapping into that warm, moist air that moves in from the Gulf of Mexico. Again, that's why the severe weather continues to be an issue over the eastern half of the country. But here in the west, dry, hot conditions as the massive high pressure pushing the jet stream all the way up into Canada, that's going to guarantee us sunshine tomorrow and Friday. In fact, it looks like Saturday is going to be a fairly nice day as well, with maybe a couple of mountain showers possible late Saturday. And I think maybe something tries to come in here on Sunday. But tomorrow, there you can see that high pressure. Look at the clear skies all across the state of Idaho. Very nice weather, and it continues. In fact, it even gets stronger on Friday. That's why the temperature readings are going to start going up as each day goes by. So seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley, 83 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow. Some areas could be a little bit toastier, but 86 degrees on Friday, that's going to be the warmest day of the week. Then on Saturday, let's go with partly cloudy skies, slightly cooler conditions, but still temperatures in the low 80s and then a potential for some showers coming in here on Sunday. It looks like a fairly weak storm that moves in. We'll keep you posted, but I say the weekend is going to be pretty nice. The mountains are going to be seeing lots of sunshine tomorrow and on Friday with a high of 75 degrees Friday. Saturday, a chance of showers late Saturday in the mountains and a few showers are possible on Sunday and on Monday as well. Hmm. But just a gorgeous stretch of weather. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Thank you. you bet.